In the southern part of Japan's Kyoto Prefecture lies the Kansai Photon Science Institute, or KPSI. At the start of each year, a new sign is placed at the institute's entrance to mark a renewed focus on producing frontier science. This kanji is pronounced chido fuaku in Japanese. It means if you know the reason for things, we will not get lost. This writing reminds us, even though we are exploring uncharted territories, we will not get lost as long as we keep in mind the reason for things we are doing. KPSI is an institute for laser science and technology. Based on high-intensity laser technology, we are promoting academic research and its industrial and medical applications. Here, we concentrate on photon science and quantum life science using our laser facilities. KPSI's centerpiece is the Japan Kansai Advanced Relativistic Engineering Petawatt Laser, or JKARIN P. With an upgrade starting in 2014, it is able to produce a laser at the petawatt level with a high repetition rate and is already proving to be one of the most powerful lasers in the world. JKARIN P has achieved the highest intensity on target of 10 to 22 watt per square centimeters, which is the world record. As a first step, JKRM P will be used for greater than 100 mega electron volt proton generation. With upgrades to higher power lasers, we expect to reach intensities so high that uh, even the properties of vacuum could be studied. These important factors make it the premier ultra-hyper laser in the world. With such a powerful facility at its disposal, KPSI attracts top-notch investigators from all over the world to discover the secrets at the heart of photon science. Our facility opens up new regimes of laser-matter interaction, which were not accessible before. JKRN P is able to create new exotic conditions because it turns any material into relativistic plasma. When we irradiated gas jet target with the JKRN laser pulses, we discovered a very bright soft X-ray radiation with most unusual properties. Clearly, this will high order harmonics. The harmonics were generated by linearly as well as circularly polarized laser pulses. There were hundreds of result harmonic orders. The harmonics were very bright. The harmonics extended up to the water window spectral range. This is very desirable for biomedical imaging. After the discovery, we looked at our results for a year. No theory, no model could explain them. We performed high-resolution particle and cell simulations, which gave us a hint uh, on where to look at. In this particle and cell simulation, we see a laser pulse propagating through plasma. There is a relativistic cell focusing, and the bow wave detaches from the channel wall. The sharp density spike appears. This relativistic oscillating electro density spike coherently generates high-order harmonics. The robustness of this harmonic generation regime is explained with our model, which is based on catastrophe theory. This harmonic generation regime has a very favorable scalability. The X-ray yield scaled as a laser power squared. Theory also predicts scalability with intensity, which promises very efficient generation of coherent X-rays in the kiloelectron volt spectral range. As well as more fundamental research, experiments using J. Karen P are also the basis of some potentially life-changing biomedical applications. We are using JKRMP system to see if we can accelerate the particles towards the energy and numbers which is necessary for cancer therapy. And by changing the target conditions and laser polymers, we investigate the relativistic plasmas by using the various detectors to know the condition where we can achieve these results. As a near future goal, we are hoping to have our hybrid system. This is called quantum scalpel. We accelerate the beam towards moderate energy by the laser and then further accelerate by the conventional accelerator system. By this scheme, we can downsize the system significantly and install such a system into a usual hospital. In the nearer future, KPSI researchers are already collaborating with industry to work on solutions to real-world problems. Researchers are developing a new way 
to detect defects in Japan's many aging concrete railway tunnels. We are developing a laser remote sensing system using a laser hammering method. Defects inside concrete can be detected remotely and quantitatively in a short period of time. We have tested the prototype laser system, including the impact laser, with high-speed scan unit and laser vibrometer at a rate of 50 Hz on concrete sample, having a defect both indoors and outdoors. The system was able to see the defect. With a wide range of exciting research areas, from fundamental to applied science, as well as some of the finest high-intensity laser facilities in the world, KPSI is the perfect place to push your career to the next level. It's a great opportunity for postdoctoral research here at the Kansai Photon Science Institute at the JSPS pre- and postdoctoral fellowships. So these offer positions from between one month and two years. They come with a salary and also research funding, which is great for allowing you to develop your own independent research projects. The JKMP laser is a top-class laser compared to its competitors worldwide and really allows me to do high-impact, exciting research at the edge of technology. Well, the research staff here are extremely experienced and allows them to live the beam with unprecedented stability. So KPSI is located near the cities of Nara and Kyoto, which are old, ancient capitals of Japan and very historically and culturally rich and interesting. At the institute itself, there's great English language support and help to allow overseas researchers to integrate into the the Japanese society. I think this is a great place to do fantastic high-impact research and also experience the rich cultural heritage of Japan.